A duo of Seguin police dispatchers are being applauded tonight for using their wits and their calm to solve a kidnapping as well as it was happening. That initial call came in on Friday night around 5 o'clock. It was from a frightened woman who was stuck in a car with a man that she feared would kill her and himself. It was a rare moment where years of experience and training paid off, nabbing the kidnapper and getting the victim out of harm's way. All of it caught on audio tape and text. I take it he's there listening. Yes. With that one word, telecommunication officer Jessica Martin knew this woman was in trouble. Even though few details would emerge from here, the officer knew the woman inside the car barreling down the highway was trapped. She was very cryptic. Um, that sent me into something's wrong. Eventually, they realized what was happening. We could hear the girl saying that the guy she was with wanted to kill himself and she was scared of him and she thought maybe he would kill her too. PD was able to locate that cell phone signal right here at Guadalupe and I-10 initially, but then apparently they hopped onto I-10 and the signal was lost. Supervisor Danera White also sprang into action, getting help from the cell signal provider and eventually Travis County Sheriff's Department and the Austin PD helicopter, piecing together a location, Highway 130. 130 is the only place that has little to nothing except land all around it. She even managed to get the frightened woman to text her secretly. Then a breakthrough moment. I think she's in a convertible. She has the she has the top down and she just passed an officer. And that's a female passenger or driver uh, looked at the helicopter. The only thing I could think of was hang in there. We see you. It's just a few more seconds. And it was an hour or so after they began the race to save the woman, Travis County officers zeroed in on the car and made the arrest. That was the goal. We hung up and kind of cheered all of us. We were like, we did it, we got her, we got her. It was, I could go home and smile and know we made a difference today. Now keep in mind that these dispatchers have 39 years of experience between them on the 911 desk. The suspect arrested 41-year-old Enrique Lanier. He was booked into the Travis County Jail on charges of unlawful restraint. We're told that neither he nor the victim were hurt.